this video from Sharpel, we're going to take a look at programming and using the discount function on the XCA307 register. So if you see my previous video, I've demonstrated how to use the discount functions when they're open and here I'm going to show you how to preset them. Uh, you've got two discounts on the machine, you've got a button here, percent, zero, uh, percent one um, is one of the discount buttons and then in the function menu you've got a second discount button, obviously it's a bit more fiddly to use because it's hidden away under uh, the function menu button but it's still there and it can be programmed so to do the function button programming you press mode then 6 TLNS to go into PGM mode then arrow down to setting TLNS to enter and then all the functions are in line too so you've actually you've got a third discount button there as well actually the minus is just a um, value an amount discount so you can take two pounds off a sale for example we'll actually look at presetting that one as well just because it's there so to edit the button you go into it um, let's preset it to two pounds you can give it a description as well so the description programming is the same as you would have done for programming your departments um, or your receipt header message if you're doing this sort of programming you'll be au okay fait with how the text works but it's exactly the same as you would have previously used um, you can actually you see here this thing says sign so you can actually have a surcharge so it doesn't have to be a discount I always think of discounts but you can have a surcharge um, and all you would do to to have this as a surcharge is obviously change the symbol to be plus instead of minus. Halo is to stop people ringing to higher discount or surcharge so you can limit the amount. Um, won't do that on this one. But actually, do you know what we will do just to stop people putting too high a surcharge on? And then item and subtotal is this is allows you to give a discount off a specific item or prevents you from doing that and then it allows you or prevents you from giving the discount at the subtotal. If you give the discount at the subtotal it takes the discount off or adds the surcharge on to the whole um, order. Obviously in this button it's not really relevant because this is an amount rather than a percentage. So once you've changed all your settings, TLNS to save and then now we'll look at the two percentage ones. So percent one um, we can give this a preset rate. Let's keep it simple with 10. So 10% discount. You can. I like to give them a uh, description because it just looks a bit more professional, I think, and it makes more sense on your receipt. Um, even if you just write discount out, it looks a bit better on your report, sorry, at the end of the day, um, rather than someone trying to guess what that bit of the report means. Um, you've got a member discount on there. Uh, again, the sign obviously can be positive or negative. We've discussed that. Um, we've got this set to 10%. Item is set to no, so that means we can't give this discount off an item. We have to give it off a subtotal so I'm going to change that to allow it to be given off both because you want the maximum flexibility and then percent two we'll leave we'll program that one at 20 um, and we'll call this loyalty going to be a discount um, and we'll have this one yeah we'll have this open as well so you can give you should set them yes because it gives you the maximum flexibility okay and then when you're finished with your programming escape cancel till you get back to the main screen and then if we ring through a sale um, if we want to give a discount of 10% off the alcohol thing we would the alcohol line of the sale would now press the percent one and that's given 10% off that line um, bring some more items through to round the sale up so we've got a 20 pound sale if we now subtotal that uh, we want to give a 20% discount off the whole transaction you would press function menu and then go to your loyalty discount TLNS and then TLNS again and that's given 20% off the whole transaction. Cash that sale off, print out a receipt. To 
show you what it looks like. So you've got your member 10% discount off the alcohol part of the sale and then a 20% loyalty discount off the whole transaction. Um, we also program that surcharge function. Um, it's that button there, so it's a bit misleading to have that as a surcharge because it says minus, but you would know. So you do the subtotal and say you have a surcharge for some amount. Maybe if you charge more for a certain method of payment, you could use that. But the to have that, so I've given it a silly name. Now I've made I've called it discount, but I've made it a surcharge. But it's just to illustrate the flexibility of the machine and what you can and can't do. Um, so if we then do a Z report, I've not put many sales through. Uh, just do an X report actually. So to reset, we can have a look. We've got our sales by. Um, department and so we've got those different department sales on there so the discount has actually taken off those department transactions I think alcohol 1254 I don't think I would have done a transaction that wasn't for that an 88p for department 3 trying to work out what percentage discount that might have been hmm Okay, we've got loyalty. The discounts are listed out here anyway, so you've got a discount there. I'm going to test that actually because that's quite a useful thing to know. I'm going to Z the till. Just bear with me one now. I've done another X, sorry. So, again, if you're unfamiliar with a reporting, X doesn't reset, it just gives the information but it doesn't go anywhere. So, you don't want to do an X report at the end of the day um, because when you do the following day's report, you'll then have the two days worth of data in there. So I'm just setting this again, just to prove it's at zero, and this will prove once and for all, we'll do one sale and we'll see if the transactions, do the department totals take into account the discount. So we've got 10 pound into groceries, just keep it nice and simple, and we'll do a discount here. Sale. I've only got £10 worth of sales and they were discounted. Oh, that's quite good actually, yeah. So that's an advantage of this machine. It totally, it takes the, um, not all machines do this, which it might sound silly, but they don't. Um, so it's we sold £10 through the groceries department, which was then discounted to £9. We took 10% off. Some tills would include that, would say that the department sales were £10, but the sharps are good enough to know not to do that. So it's got £9 in department one and then your discount is listed down there below. Okay, hope you, I hope that video made sense and was instructional at least for how to program and use the discount functions. Um, so yeah, I've got plenty of other videos um, explaining how to use and program the 307 and other sharp cash registers. Some of those will be appearing on screen now, I guess. You're welcome to click on those and, and have a view of those. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.